What's going down folks? It's your boy C23 coming back at you with another video. I know I don't usually do videos like this, but this year might be something special for the NBA gaming community because of this year's E3, EA dropped the NBA Live 16 trailer on us folks. And I'll be honest with you guys, I was pretty impressed with what I saw. And what obviously caught my attention was the graphical improvements and just overall how good the players look. They look pretty amazing in my opinion. Things like improved lighting and textures really displayed an added sense of depth and realism to the 3D scan player models. I was really hoping to get a sense of how the players on offense and defense interacted with each other and also to see if there was proper spacing on the floor but I couldn't really tell because the trailer itself was pretty fast paced so I couldn't really get a good look at it. However, I did notice that the live gameplay transitions and the animations weren't really as smooth as I want them to be, but hopefully that's just due to this being a really early render of the game, and that'll be taken care of before the game actually comes out. Now, it's been a while since I played any basketball game from the folks over at EA, and the reason they lost me as a customer is due to the clunky controls and subpar gameplay. Let's be honest here, NBA Live just really hasn't lived up to expectations and failed to deliver on a number of fronts over the years. So. For this franchise to be relevant again and actually stand a fighting chance against 2K, a lot of issues will need to be cleaned up. And if gameplay and the overall fun factor of the game are not improved, it's going to be tough to sell this game, regardless of how hard you try to sell the consumers on the shoes. Now switching gears a bit, 2K just dropped the trailer on August 24th, that's approximately one month before the game releases. And my initial impression after watching the trailer had nothing to do with the actual trailer itself. From a pure entertainment perspective, I came away thinking, yo, 2K really knows how to make a trailer. But in all seriousness though, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I already know what to expect from 2K Sports. And though it hasn't been perfect, 2K's delivered hitting on just about every aspect from gameplay to graphics on pretty much all current gen platforms. And of course I'm talking Xbox One, PS4, and PC. But getting back to the trailer, graphically the player models look to be on par with 2K15. And I really don't know how to interpret that. Maybe more time was spent cleaning up other gameplay related issues and not so much on player models. I'm not saying that the player models don't look good because obviously they do, everything looks great. I'm just not seeing a major difference from last year's version. What I did like about the trailer though were pretty subtle things like the mouth guard animations, James Harden diving to the floor and rolling on the loose ball, and also that Steph Curry teardrop finger roll. To me that was probably one of the biggest highlights in this trailer, I really liked the way they did that. It really just adds another dimension of realism to an already strong 2K franchise. So what are your thoughts? We're almost at the moment of truth folks, both of these games will be launching within a month or so. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that you'll actually pick up a copy alive? Will it finally be able to compete with the juggernaut NBA 2K franchise? Or is 2K just going to continue to dominate like business as usual? What do you guys think? Go on ahead and drop me a comment below. And let me know what your whole thoughts are on the whole NBA 2K16 versus NBA Live. Anyways, folks, that's all the time I got in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next one.